again, the only totals. Why I trade a big move? And that's one of the top. 45 seconds gone in the opening. Danny Garcia on like a Garcia. Oh, they got both got great poker. They might have felt they might will not see their facial expression. And flashes the doesn't look like Garcia's in a rush, right? Yeah, technical issue with the clock. Will needing to get after it more and put the Matisse landing a really punch that they have to worry about. That's why it's getting there yet against Matisse. So. Really they both happen any second. Garcia with the lead right, counter left. Round one, it could have gone either way. And now here we are in round two with Or caught committing to the body more. A minute and a half, actually minute 19. He say, so he has to be. Now they're in the pocket. Overhand right misses by Matisse. Garcia goes to the body with a left. There's a right. But he's starting to find it. He has done some sharp counter punches, but Matisse's been the attacker. And Matisse going on. I like Garcia. Every time he steps away, he bounces off. Matisse, no, okay, you landed that one, but my leg is still under me, so I don't think you hurt me. Matisse has Garcia on the ropes. Garcia flashes the jab. We're going to round three of Matisse. Together, and thankfully, there was no cut that resulted from it. It was like every single day. Landing this left hook. Now, those weren't. MGM Grand 3 begins. Matisse sound range. He doesn't even eat before the game lately, and he's landing it, but it's just the six according to show stats. Oh, my, that left. to feel out Matisse, Garcia. but he doesn't want to fall behind too early. Matisse is not. Yeah, Garcia's a very solid, fundamental fighter. Yes. And, Gar and Khan had raked in that fight. Yeah, hasn't thrown as much as he. Matisse leading with hooks. Oh, and put at home I and mean, we can hear these oh. feel the thud from here left side of Danny Garcia from some of those right knockout as we head into the fight that pop back with that stiff jab by Garcia to the body with the second one counter left as much as he would like in this fight now it's not helping him attack good work downstairs and Garcia straddling the bell line Jab upstairs downstairs we begin the fourth round and that all saying that yes Matisse has power but he has power too and he's fought a lot of guys with power his plan was low, really. If he's relying on just getting the ball. have found a little bit, a little bit. Earlier on in this round, he landed a Matisse, less panicky. Countering on, inside. Let's see how this develops now. Matisse is going to have to find a Big punches. Danny Garcia is a very good of both of these guys. Danny Garcia has that. Stand his ground. If he knows he's going to counter, he'll make the miss. Lands with the right hand. Save, but able to pivot away as several of them. Shots, so those power shots. Garcia, Matisse goes one at a time, an inch every time. Garcia. Launched a right uppercut. Keeps a tight guard. Jab to Matisse's body. Right uppercut by the challenger. He's turning it. Half a minute remaining in the fourth. This has been a very entertaining round. A fairly close one. Oh. Right hand to the head by Garcia. to the body by Garcia. The champion looking really good here. Outside of the round thus far. Yeah. Work in the last round. This is where he lands that, uh, that counter left hook. Well, the right hand. More Ranello along with Al Burns. Joined by Brian Kenny Jim. When Lucas Matisse jabs his way in, it's a whole different feel. Was a, a, is, the right hook was a good weapon. Another low blow. No, I think on the inside because he knows Matisse is really wide. It's Matisse just misses a counter right hand there. What I mean by catch and shoot is to make that. What, Mat what Garcia is doing the ground and take it on the gloves because you know you can counter. A lot of guys don't have the wherewithal to do what he's saying. Shots even if you're blocking them. Not an easy thing. That's right uppercut on the inside by Matisse. This round, Matisse uses. Up, right uppercut through the guard again by Matisse. He normally does. He's got getting a lot of leverage. He's throwing more arm punches in this fight. And countered by a jab. Right, right no, on. thank you. Uh -huh. oh, it's up to Luca Matisse now to make some adjustments. As you see, he's got to answer the combinations of Gennigar. Put something together behind those one. The champion attacking the body again. Matisse coming forward. Right hand in the clinch. Jabs, and there's a straight right. Body. Clash of heads between these two men. And that has happened now. Several Garcia landing the left very low. Now, he did the round. Matisse ripping to the body as well when they're on the inside. That's why he was the great one. He sure was. Uh, Mark. And Danny Garcia off to a... And you know, the, the, it's probably a place off to a great start because... We, 
So you're right. There, yes. Changing the approach again. That's what I talked about there. Oh. We talked about the subtle adjustments that Matisse has to make. Especially in the later rounds, mid later rounds. Oh. His body effectively with that right hand. From Matisse, like he normally throws. Oh. is the champion. Matisse's had a very good round. The champion. Left hand downstairs. Be the right hand to the stomach there, Al. You're asking for the straight right hand. <laughs> Many of yes. at this round. Yep. Right hand to the body and by Gordon. Garcia. Left hook to the body by Matisse. And the this round. Blocked by oh. Matisse. Matisse. That was a good right hand by Matisse. And you're right. Danny didn't feel that. And you see the catch and shoot there. Again, it, I stress that the wherewithal it takes to do that when you know your opponent is such a big puncher. Matisse having a better round. Matisse has fitting into this one. We'll see if he can land some of those power punch, power punches more now. You, you know, it makes your, it even makes your loopy ones land better because yep. then you take. And I actually think he probably left hook happy after he knocked Lamont Peterson down, and he likes the left. He stays calm inside his bit, right? The right oh. under the eye of Matisse now a big factor. And again, the other way, power. Oh, Matisse landed a uh, right before he got caught with one. Is the one that's Garcia utilizing his left hand very effectively stops Matisse in his tracks with a short right uppercut, and that right eye could. Yes. Right uppercut they did, they... by Matisse, counter right hand by Garcia. Not only didn't they, but they didn't rattle his gun by the other's power. The challenger backs Garcia to digging left hook to the body. So the first thing for Matisse has been a very good round. This blood on on the throw on the right side. Another oh. left hook. Ten seconds left in the seventh. Hook right hand there by Garcia, perfectly placed. And a right hand to the body by Garcia. Matisse throws a right eye between rounds. So a sense of desperation, knowing how precarious that. Good advice, though. They said, don't be desperate. Don't. Jab by Matisse, changing the trajectory of the. Sweeping right hand, caught by the gun, clinched immediately. Come up, nightmare. Whoa. Terrific performance. As Matisse did a great performance by all of them well, but he's also avoided a lot of them and blocked a lot of them. Breaks them up. Matisse's glove. See, an advantage Garcia has shown. He that was one of the keys we had before the fight, and Garcia has done that. To be effective. And he's... It's Took to the body by Garcia. Counter round for the champion. Go to the ninth here in Vegas. A big left hook. These are the punches that are Garcia undefeated at 20. The challenger, Lucas Mastreek. He is in the blue. Double jab by Garcia. But it's not, hasn't been all, been all the time. He, and Lucas with he's not doing that. On the bell line. Lucas Garcia holding it. Now remember, the back of your mind, whether it applies here, we'll see. One knockout after the eighth round. That came in the 10th. And the way it is, it does seem to have Matisse. Also, the point. fact that when Matisse lands, fights is landing a big shot and hurting his opponent. So uh, it's a combination of a lot of things eliminating the confidence of Matisse. Well, Matisse using his left. The question dog and showing perhaps that Danny Garcia's hustle been underrated coming into this championship affair. There's a double -tip jab from the ropes. I think where uh, Matisse trying to protect to push down that swelling. Yeah, they, of course, yeah. The, the, uh, oh, nice the left hand by... Yeah. That end swell for set if they don't have an end swell right now, especially with this, the way it's gotten now. Start here in round 10, Garcia. And I'm telling you, he doesn't see those left hooks coming. I mean, his eyes almost completely... Low peripheral vision at this point from that eye. But certainly Danny... Garcia faints going upstairs with a jab. And, and, that's, and he's almost headed to a nice straight right hand. Counter left hook to the body by Garcia. Matisse goes over the top with the right hand. Another counter right by Garcia. Doing enough impact or what? It's like it's almost like he's worrying and doesn't want to miss a shot. Double jab. Triple. This fight by both men. Countered by the right. Garcia doing a good job of avoiding the brunt of that onslaught, although he gets here. Left hook to the body by Matisse. As we head into the championship rounds here in Las Vegas. He's heating up. Off some good moments in that round. And wanted to get to Danny Garcia. And so he kind of got off balance round. Matisse 35 and Joe Stats. That was Matisse's oh, best. Oh, the mouth oh. guard. Right hand and Garcia. And the end swell can help a lot more than your thumb. Because you can put Let more pressure with a heavier piece of metal. Well, especially thanks. if it's cold. Really heating up here in round 11. Matisse. Uh, Matisse came out with a purpose this round. This is.
is why they're called the championship rounds. Each of these work. Right hand by Matisse. Digging the right to the body. Matisse again is now fine. Left hook to the body by Garcia. Right cross by Garcia connected. Minute and a half remaining in. And winning this round, and he probably won the last round, so he's making so many. They're both, he, he just missed that right hand and got that one in. Right hand of the body, three punch combination. Garcia oh. has Matisse down. In the 11th round, Garcia puts Matisse down. One of the best of the fight combination by the champion. Right hand. and he was able then to come back and here's where he pulled Matisse down and, that's and he, I, you know that, that's what, I mean to the ropes to put him in position to throw the combination that ended up knocking him down watch here it is he, that, yeah, yep. see, he rakes him into the ropes turns him around well, and then lands the combination where he's got to take a yep. knee yeah and they did turn Lucas Matisse and Matisse and that knockdown was huge momentum of Matisse and uh, I don't, you know. So according to Showtime, for boxing's version of the one, that last round that round for Bertice was not. And Danny Garcia, make no mistake, has stood up to some good power punches. Oh, and, work. and always throwing in common something very important about Garcia, that when you add it oh, to him as a... Oh, oh, yeah. Lucica de Jose was able to do it against him, but usually you don't stand up to his power. His hands up, you're not going to counter, you got to step wow. out of range. Combinating with a straight right hand by the champion who continues no, no, to... time, and that's been really the difference. You can count down the seconds and wonder... Oh. Been the consummate pro in this fight, utilizing his combination. Matisse, but Matisse now looking for that shot, but it's the combination function of the champion Garcia. What a flurry here to finish things off! And a dynamite close to this championship bout. But that was fascinating. And here we are in that 12th and dramatic round. Another low blow there that that would come with this left hook. He had landed, and that one, of course, extraordinarily low. And he had been warned by Tony Weeks on a couple of occasions. Now, this was with only about 40-some seconds left in the fight. So in some ways, this ended up, even though somewhat beneficial. Now, there's his dad, Angel, and we'll see his reaction as he watches the last part of the fight, which was a wild affair, and his busy. And still, you're the WBA and WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World.